Welcome back everyone. You might be in a situation where you ran into a problem where your Windows machine for some reason keeps running into an issue where you cannot reset it properly. Now this can happen for a multitude of reasons and there's not really one perfect way to go about doing it. But the way to actually fix it might be easier than you think. So the first thing you want to do, restart your PC. Make sure you know it's not just an easy fix like that. So once it's fully restarted, go back into your settings or wherever you're trying to restart it at and seeing if you're able to reset it that way. If you are, then you're set. If you're not, then what you want to do is you want to go into your command prompt and you want to run it as an administrator. So make sure you run it from there. Well, now once you open up your command prompt, what you want to do is you want to type in these exact letters and they'll be on the screen so you know you can see them that way. They're R E A G E N T C, so reagency, whatever, space, slash, disable. And then you'll get a little bit of a prompt and it'll probably take like a second or two for it to fully go through. And then once that fully goes through, what you want to do is type in the exact same thing. So you can just click the up arrow and it'll copy exactly what you just had and it'll paste it down there. And what you want to do is take away the disable portion and you want to, instead of disable, you want to type in enable. So once you click that, it'll probably take another second or two for it to fully go through. And once that's set and once that fully goes through, what you want to do is type in exit. And then that'll go and exit the command prompt. Now what you want to do here is you want to restart your PC. So it'll take another second for you to go restart it. And then once it fully comes back up, you want to go and reset your PC once more. You want to try it just like how you did before. And you should be able to fully go through with it. And this is probably the easiest way I've seen it done. There are some other ways to go about doing it. But if this way doesn't work, another way to go about doing it is by downloading Windows 10 through a bootable USB and then restarting your PC into safe mode and then restoring the PC through that Windows bootable USB drive that you made earlier. So that's another way to go about doing it. I'll leave a link on how to do that in the description below if you guys want to figure that out. But this way should be able to fix it for a majority of you. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any more questions or rents any more problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, or my main channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly, everything else I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.